I'm Anil Kumar and here is another very popular word problem on ratios. The ratio of nickels to dimes to quarters in a piggy bank is 3 is to 4 is to 5. So what we're given here is nickels, dimes and quarters. The ratio is 3 is to 4 is to 5. If there are 21 nickels, if we are given 21 nickels, that is, if the nickels are 21, what is the total value of the coin? So we want to know value of the coin, right? So value of all the coins. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. How can we do such a question? Well, one way is, since we know number of nickels and the ratio is 3 is to 4 is to 5. Now we have to see 21. So 3 times what is 21? So we know 3 times 7 is 21. So if I multiply all these by 7, we know how many dimes and quarters should be there, correct? So that should give us the number of dimes and quarters, right? So we get number of nickels times and quarters just by multiplying each number by 7. 7 times 4 is 28 and 7 times 5 is 35. So that is first step. So we have 21 nickels, 28 dimes and 35 quarters. So we know number of coins, correct? Now the question is what should be the value of this coin? Now for each coin there is a value, right? Nickels is how many cents? So you could write value in dollars or in cents. So we'll write in dollars, okay? So nickels is 5 cents, which is 0 0.05. Dimes is 10 cents. So in dollars, 0 0.10. Quarters, quarter of a dollar is 0 0.25. So that is the value of each coin. And if you have 21 of nickels, 28 of dimes, 35 of quarters, then how much is the value? So in that case, we'll multiply these two, right? To get the value and then we'll add it up. So that is what we will do. So let's do 21 times 0 0.05. What do we get? Well, we get 1.05. So what we have done here is we have done 21 times 0 0.05 and we get 1.05. Zero 0.05. Similarly, we will do 28 times 0 0.10. So this is easy. I can write 2.80. And then we have 5 times, I'm sorry, 0 0.25. Okay, either way, you will multiply this by 35 also. So we'll do the other way. Okay, both are same, correct? You're multiplying these two numbers. So let me do 0 0.25 times 35. That should give you in decimals. 8.75 right so 8.75 okay so these are the value of each if you add them all you get the total value okay so let's add them all that is now we will do 1.05 plus 2.80 plus 8.75 to get the total value 1.05 plus 2.80 plus 8.75 and that gives us let's see in decimals 1260 so in dollars it is 12 dollars and 60 cents you should always round your answer to two places whenever you are doing question on coins you get the idea right so these are the steps to solve such a question so when you know nickels, dimes, and quarters, each has a value of 5 cents, 10 cents, and 25 cents. Now in this case, we were given 21 nickels, right? Since we were given 21 nickels, we knew that the ratio is 7 times, right? So all these ratios will be multiplied by 7 to get equivalent ratios. So that becomes an equivalent ratio. 21 is to 28 is to 35. That gives you number of coins, right? So this is the, so here we have number of coins, correct? Number of coins and we times it with value of coins. 
value of coins to get the total value which we did here so I've shown you the calculations right there then add it up to get the answer correct so that is how you can do this question now here is a question for you so we'll continue with this question with we'll second question number 1a and question number 1b is I'm just saying that the ratio of nickel is to dime is to quarters is same that is it is 3 is to 4 is to 5 however the change is like this if total number of coins is let us say 48 right then find the value of this coin then find the total value so this is part two uh, for you to try right so you can pause the video answer this question it's slightly more difficult let us see if you could get that one okay now here is a hint hint is when i'm giving you a ratio add them up so we have three is to four is to five so we add three plus four plus five we get seven plus five is twelve so now total number of coins are twelve then the ratio is three four five here the total number of coins is 48 right not 12 it is times 4 correct that is the hint for you that will help you to find the total value of the set I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps thank you and all the best